Hey everybody, I wanted to take a minute and share with you the course calendar that I created for my education online class. And um, my students in education are very detail oriented and they're very they're very into being the perfect student. So um, they're going to do pretty much every assignment and they're going to expect pretty much full credit on everything. Um, and maybe all students are that way, but that's not what I see in my general ed classes when I teach like a CESA class. So my education students tend to be, I kind of call them professional students. Um, they love learning. They're passionate about learning. That's why they're going into education. But that also um, makes them kind of a very demanding student. And, um, and I'm sure it's that way for other majors. I just have never taught any other major specific courses. So um, that challenged me to really create a course calendar that was solid, that they could understand when all the deadlines were and what all the assignments were, because they sort of um, perseverate on what's due and when it's due. Okay, so that's what led, led to this course calendar. It's one page, so they can print it out, and they have check boxes here so that they can mark off each assignment um, when they do it. And then I tell them everything's always due at 5 o'clock, and it's always on Monday. These are all Mondays um, within the semester. And so I just thought I'd share with you. I, I tell them the week that it's for, it opens the Friday before, and then it's due... So you get, they have a weekend, a week, and then a weekend. It's due that second Monday at 5 o'clock. And then the color coding relates to the assignments. So everything that's here that's in purple, these build into a final essay at the end. So they, I, I break it, I chunk it down into parts, and then they create a final, um, it's called ABE, autobiographical essay, about their philosophy of teaching is essentially what it is. And the blue is their teaching demonstration, so I break that down into parts and then they actually perform it um, either recorded or live and collaborate on our, in our class. So that's what the highlighting is about. And then anything that's extra credit is in the different, different color as well. Um, and then I reiterate my policy that a grade in the grade book for two weeks is solid. It doesn't change. It's like concrete. It's done. And that keeps um, me from having to go back through the semester and have conversations about a grade from five weeks ago or something like that. So I hope that you find this helpful. Uh, students seem to like it because they like the check boxes and they like the clarity of knowing exactly what's due and when it's due. And I do a similar um, course calendar for all my classes. So there you go. I hope that's helpful.